Hello there, my name's Ray, I'm with Team Steam. Today I'm just outside of Flash Industrial Painting because I'm moving around some equipment, trying to get things lined up where I can get two trailers and a truck chassis all sandblasted and painted right around the same time within days of each other. All we're doing on this truck is the chassis. As you can tell, it's in lousy shape. I mean, very, very lousy shape. This comes right up. So we'll be doing this chassis. We'll take this all to bare metal. We're gonna sandblast this uh, low boy, remove the fenders and blast the low boy and paint it black. We've got uh, 15 wheels to do on this Jeep. We're doing the entire underside as well. All in black. Okay, so I got this guy backed up here all the way through the shop. Got the low boy portion of it backed up out into the yards where I'm planning on sandblasting it. Got the boys taking a, uh, everything off that needs to be taken off. Masking everything off that needs to be masked off, that sort of thing. Uh, I haven't even dropped the trailer yet. They're just go-getters. What, what are you going to do? So I'm going to drop this trailer. I'm going to pull this truck out. And then I'm going to hook it up to the Jeep. And then I'm going to pull the Jeep around the other way. And then I'm going to park both of them back here. Leaving the Jeep hooked up to it for now. Because I'm going to be blasting all that stuff anyway. So who cares? So now I have everything wedged back here enough that I can actually sandblast it. I can get to my truck chassis and get to the entire Jeep, all the wheels in between, barely in between, but I guess that's that's part of it. And I'm gonna start uh, collecting some sand and, and, uh, and running it through this sandblaster. Well, I'm half done blasting anyway and uh, stopping for lunch for right now. And it's really late in the afternoon, and here I am after the second session. I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up, I think. And so I got this blasted yesterday. Today we're expecting rain within the next hour or two. So I need to get my mess cleaned up out here. Got some air building. Got the shop cleaned out. I had another two projects in there. Got that all cleaned out. Now I'm getting this uh, guy pulled in here so we can get going on it. Now we got this guy all masked up, airbags, wheels, more airbags. This axle sunk overnight as the air uh, drifted off, so we have to actually remask that one. But uh, other than that, you know, plastic all around everything. So we just masked up the hood. I'll try and get some paint on this guy today. All right, I just turned the boys loose. I'm getting ready to uh, spray some primer. I already have it all mixed up. Got this guy all blown off. Um, just getting ready to uh, go around it and get it all primed. All right, we've got all the primer on. I've got the white paint on the wheels, the first coat of white paint on the wheels. I'll do another touch-up coat as soon as all the black's done. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some black paint on everything.
All right, so we're here the next morning and uh, we're getting it unmasked, getting it all put back together. You can see we're putting some uh, mud flaps on and got the wheels unmasked. And most of it, this isn't gonna take long at all to unmask. I mean, it's basically unmasked right now. We've got the few things to uh, put back on it. Some lights, stuff like that. Be done with this thing in basically no time. All right, I've been at it for uh, quite a few hours here. On uh, This is the second day of blasting and I just got done blasting this uh, low boy. It's all bare metal, front to back. No selective sandblasting, it's just all bare metal. Now I'm gonna clean up this mess and get this guy in the shop. All right, so it's the next morning, uh, blasting's done. Boys are getting on the masking. It won't be too long, we'll have this whole entire guy masked up, get ready to do some prep, maybe even get some color on it. This one wasn't selectively sandblasted, it was just sandblasted. And now here we're all masked up, ready to go, ready to start prepping. Won't be long, we'll be getting color on it. All right, so we pretty much have the trailer ready to go, but before I start uh, priming and painting on it, I wanna take a minute and bang out another project that's kind of been sitting here for a while. And it's gonna be the same color as the trailer and the height of the trailer really does help in getting this project banged out while the trailer is in here. And I'll show you what I mean. So the trailer, like I said, is pretty much ready to go. I went ahead and there, there's two stale, stair railings <clears throat> that came out of another town that, uh, that belonged to a customer of mine that we, I needed to get shot, you know, it's been a couple of weeks. I've had them sitting here, so I went ahead and just uh, lagged them down to this because the height is about right to do what I gotta do. And uh, got them all prepped. They're 100% sanded and ready to go. And I'm gonna prime and paint them first. And while I'm busy doing those, uh, <clears throat> those stair railings, I'm gonna go ahead and do these ramps. These are just a spare little set of ramps to go off the front of this uh, low boy that he had built and they've all, they've been all sandblasted and stuff so now i'm going to go ahead and uh, prime and paint them as well while they're in here just like that now they're both nice glossy black ready to go many 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 more years and these uh ramps same way shot inside and out we really didn't have a choice and now they're not going to be in the way when i go to shoot this guy and now that we're closing in on the uh low boy getting it all sanded up. We don't just sandblast them, we sand them too. Uh, I'm gonna head outside to get these wheels all sandblasted so I can get them under shelter because we're expecting snow all day tomorrow. Oh, there's Mac, he's helping me. Here's the sandblasting we're doing out here today. All right, I got them all blasted. Now we're gonna find some place to stash them until I can get this low boy painted. All right, so this is all sanded, all ready to go. I'm ready to just blow it off and uh, do a few little minor details, whatever I come across, and uh, it'll be ready. All right, you know the drill. If you've seen very many of my uh, two-tones, uh, what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna prime the wheels in white first, then I'm gonna prime all this steel in black. All right, that was pretty painstaking. Uh, two coats of primer on everything. That took the rest of the day, so I just went ahead and left it overnight. Now here we are the next day, and I'm gonna go ahead and get some paint on it. Starting with the white on the wheels, the black on everything else, and then another coat of white on the wheels.
All right, so we're here the next morning. I got this guy shot yesterday. Uh, boys will be here any minute. We're gonna get to work uh, unmasking everything, putting everything back together that needs it. All right, so we're getting there together, we're getting some lights on it. Just getting ready to put the front fenders on it. All right, my gang of fellow miscreants, we can go ahead and put a bow on this one. It's done. Let's go ahead and walk around it and have a look. All right, so here it is in its finished state. Nice shiny white wheels, nice and shiny. Got all those details in there. And that's nothing but details. I mean, that, that's all this is, is details. And you can't just spray a fog of paint in there and have it cover everything. It doesn't work like that. Unless you're electrically introducing it, and even then it won't go to the backs of hoses and stuff like that. All the details. You see the tanks all shiny under there. Got in under everything. Everything's just nice and done. I mean, you've seen, you saw me paint it. You saw how we got all the details. And I didn't shoot this against here, so you don't have this weird imprint whenever they're open. In between all these girders. All thoroughly done. Fender's back on it. Everything's looking good here. Down underneath, all those mud flaps. And then we got the uh, masking here around this side. It all came out pretty good. These stickers were ripped up a little bit, but um, Still, they were in good enough shape to go ahead and save because of their content. They've got very important content, a little bit ripped up, right where it happens to be ripped up. Doesn't really hurt anything, so. And it all turned out pretty good. Now all we have to do is get these wheels, which you can see there's 15 of them stacked in this little, this little uh, lean-to shop area. And they narrowly avoided being covered in snow. Uh, we're gonna get those all pulled out of here now. They've all been sandblasted, you saw that. Uh, get them pulled out of here, we'll get them stacked in the shop in a way that I can go ahead and shoot them, and that way we can be completely done with this project. All right, so it's the next morning. We got all these wheels shot. We got the uh, oversized load sign taken care of. All right, I got this uh, first trailer and, and truck set up figured out. Now it's out of the way enough. And I've got the other one pulled all around where it's 100% ready for today's happenings. And we're just gonna see how this goes when he gets here in a few minutes.